Hey guys, if you are looking for a GPU water cooler and don't want to mess with any liquid or tubing, I have something for you today. This is a 240 millimeter VGA water cooling from ID Cooling. It will work with all the previous NVIDIA graphic cards like the RTX 2000 series, GTX 1000 series, GTX 1600 series, and the 900 series graphic cards. It also works with the AMD Vega 5664 series and the RX 200 300 series graphic cards. The VGA cooler come with a 240 millimeter AIO GPU water cooler and a two in one 240 millimeter cooling fan to ensure excellent heat transfers from your GPU. The built in 92 millimeter fans are equipped to cool down your MOS and VRAMs. Now let's do a quick installation. I have the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Ti Extreme Overclock. This car is running hot all the time. Let's see if this cooler can calm this baby down. It took me less than 30 minutes to install this to my GPU. Basically, I just need to replace the heatsink from my GPU, then clean up the thermal paste on my GPU. Make sure you guys clean it well. This come with a couple heatsink for your VRAMs. Make sure you apply those. I also bought additional heatsink with thermal pads to put on all the MOS. Now, uh, apply the thermal paste make sure you apply enough or more i always add more and then make sure you pick the right um, mounting brackets for whatever gpu that you have now we just need to put everything together and just screw everything back and this is what it looked like The question is, is it worth it? The only way we can figure it out is do some benchmark. I use a Unigen Heaven to do a lot of benchmark and I use MSI's afterburner and the combustor to do all the overclocking to make it short. So we're just gonna use the benchmark Heaven to run the stock speed with the ID cooling and then the maximum overclocks like I can get out of this car. For the stock speed, we got a 76 degree with a score of 4,088 and the average FPS is 162. Now with the ID cooling temperature drop about seven degree and the performance increase 1%. Um, 1% is still better than no percent, right? So at least the temperature drop. And then I managed to overclock and under voltage, I add 100 megabyte for clock speed and 931 for memory clock. Temperature stay at 70 degree with an average FPS at 177. The score is 4,459. Compared to the, the stock performance increase about 10% and 7 degree cooler. I play mainly Fortnite, Warzone, and Destiny. For some reason, Destiny, I couldn't test anything. So I'm just gonna put on Fortnite right here. I'm in creative map and just cranking my 90. The temperatures with the stock is stay at about 62 degree and with the ID cooling, it dropped 20 degree, which is at 42 to 45 degree the whole time. That's crazy. And then in Warzone, I'm just gonna do the lobby and then prepare to jump and then then jump out of the airplane to get ready for your drop. So the temperature stay 66, almost 70 degree with the stock. And then when I install the ID cooling, temperature drop 17 degree. And the performance also increased as well. As you guys can see, it's higher clock speed and the temperatures still stay below 50. The highest I see is 51. Now we're gonna take a look at the overclock. I add 100 on the clock speed and then almost 1000 on the memory clock and my gpu still stay below 60 degree normally if i have overclock on my gpu will stay at 75 degree the whole time when i'm gaming this definitely a game changer for anyone looking for a water cooling gpu that you don't want to mess with water or tubing so i would recommend this for any of you guys looking for a good gpu cooling let's sum it up i like the design look very clean very easy to install the RGB RGB lights are awesome. It will sync with your motherboard software if you have the 3-pin 5-volt connector. The price, 
I know is $130, but it's still much cheaper than if you do a proper water cooling for your GPU. I will have all the links in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will try to do my best to answer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again in the